Did you know that you can create whiteboard-like animations using just Apple Keynote? Let me show you how. Here I am in Apple Keynote. Select a simple template with just white backdrop and black text. That's all we need. I'm going to add a new slide here. Here it is. Actually, we don't need those blocks. So feel free to delete the title and the content block. Here's our blank slide. We can also change the layout to blank as well. All right, so for whiteboard-like animation, we need some kind of uh, illustration or shapes. Let's explore the shape menu because it's quite packed. There are many ready-to-use shapes and symbols, so we don't need to scatter the internet. We can just search here just by looking around or using the search bar. So take a look. Maybe you're making some story about the like, clothing parts or something related to keys. All is here. So let's say our story is something about a key. So I drag out this key. It's a vector, so I can scale it up and down without losing quality. We're doing whiteboard, so we don't need a color to fill in the shape. What we need is the border around the shape instead. So on the right side in the format section, get rid of the fill color, no fill, and give it a black border. So line, black color, and you can decide about thickness. All right. Let's use the Arrange tab to rotate the shape because I want it to be this way. Nice. That's one shape. Let's add another one. So we got like complete story on this page. I select this graduation cap and again I scale up the shape. I can give it a bit of rotation. As you may remember, we don't need a color. So go back to style. Get rid of the color. No fill. Let's add a border instead. Let's check which line I use. 10 points black line. So that's exactly what I need. All right. And with these two different shapes, I could like literally move them a little bit up and add some additional text if I need on this slide. But in my case, I just need those two shapes to be kind of the backdrop for my story that I'm telling. So how can we turn those two shapes we add? into animated like whiteboard style shape that is you can see like somebody's drawing them right so simply click on that shape head to animate built in we want to add a built-in effect and there's a special effect called line draw you can only use it if there's a line selected and in our case there's a line around the shape so click line draw take a look now we got this drawing effect we can make it a bit slower, huh? So let's make it slower so we got enough time to talk about it. 10 seconds, let's preview that. A bit too slow, I would say. Maybe six and a half. And it's speeding up and somebody drawing a key. So we got engagement. Our audience is looking at this drawing, trying to figure out what will appear here. And the same thing here, we can add a line drawing effect to it and then modify how long it will take to draw the object you can now click preview all right now we can test out this slide so let's play it nothing's here when i click for the first time the first object is drawing when I click for the second time, the second object will draw. If you want this to happen automatically, we can just change the trigger for the animation. So click in build order. And instead of trigger by click, you can do after transition for the first object and for the second object after build one. So after object one. All right. Let's play it once more. Now I did not click and the object just start drawing itself. And here's the second object. 
Nice. That's how you can use this simple trick. Simply find the shape within the keynote or from outside resources that is a vector shape. So within here, we don't need to worry that the shape is vector or no. If you're using outside resources, be sure you got a proper vector shape. All right. So find the shape, drag it in your project, get rid of the fill color in the format menu so we don't need any fill color add a border line instead and then apply the special animation called line draw make this a bit longer so you can see how the image is appearing slowly and that's it that's how you can get this white ball like effect quickly and easily inside keynote I hope this short tutorial was helpful and I will see you in the next one.